is Asteria Apothecary and this video is going to be just a little bit different. I wanted to do a tutorial on how to use the batch calculator that I share in my formulas which is at wholesalesuppliesplus.com um, and it is the batch size calculator that converts percentages to weight. Hopefully you can see that up there with my mouse. So I'm on my actual computer screen and I want to show you how to use this. Um, I'm just going to use a made up formula, but you will insert or plug in the percentages from whatever formula you have purchased from me or any formula that you may be using. But this is how you would go about using it. And it actually gives you directions. So it tells you to enter a recipe name. So for this one, I'm actually going to give you a, a true formula. I said I was going to make up one, but it's a true formula. This is a good way to make um, aloe vera juice if you don't want to keep it the liquid on hand you can make your own using powder so I'm gonna show you what formula I would use using the powder that you can purchase from lotion crafter it's the 100 times aloe vera powder not the 200 times all right so I'm going to type in aloe liquid right there and then it's gonna ask you to type in the batch volume this is how much you want to make Generally, I work in ounces. You can do pounds, milliliters, or grams. I usually work in ounces. So we're just going to say that we are making 16 ounces, okay? And then you're going to scroll down, and it gives you the option to put in your ingredients. And this is what you would plug in from the formula. So in this case, we're going to be using distilled water, aloe powder, and I'm gonna put 100, whoops, 100 times, and preservative. Have to use preservative because we are doing a water-based product. And I'm gonna be using Liquid Germal Plus, which you normally use at a rate of 0.5%. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and plug that in. So over here is where you put in those percentages that again are included with the formula. So I'm going to do 0.5% for the preservative. For the aloe, because it's 100 times, that means one part of 100, okay? So because I want to use one part of 100, I'm only going to be using 1%. That's one part of 100. And that means that whatever is left, I'm going to use in distilled water, which in this case is going to be 98.5. Because this is 1.5, 100. All of your formulas always have to equal 100. So 100 minus 1.5 is 98.5. So we're going to do 98.5%. And... The way you can make sure that it is correct is hit calculate. And when you hit that calculate, you should see 100% down here. That way you know how much all of your ingredients equal 100%. It'll let you know. If it doesn't equal 100, it'll tell you. When you hit calculate, the calculator now is telling me how many ounces I need, how many pounds I need, how many milliliters I need, and how many grams I need. It gives you all of these, no matter which um volume you choose to use it gives you all of them okay so it's telling me i need 15.76 for me i did ounces of the water 0 0.6 0 0.16 ounces of aloe vera powder and then 0 0.08 ounces of the preservative this is it anytime i'm asked how do i figure out how much for my recipe the recipe is this this is your recipe this is the weighed out um part this is even if you were cooking in cooking especially baking everything is done in weights as well so the baker will have percentages for how much sugar how much flour how much butter eggs whatever and then when they want to go make a cake they will put in how much they need for the cake so 32 ounces whatever the case may be so the percentages is your formula. The weights that you get when you use those percentages is your actual recipe. So this is what you will use. So you will weigh out 15.76 ounces of this, 0.16 ounces of this, 0.08 ounces of this, 
and in this case all you have to do is mix everything together until it's all dissolved um, there's no other steps and that's it um, so that is how you use that so all of my formulas that you purchase for me are in percentages I give you the percentages and then it's up to you for how much you want to make I always suggest that when you are making a recipe for the first time only make four to eight ounces I do eight ounces just because it's easier to mix up that amount the smaller amounts that you get especially if it's like an emulsion it's just harder to use like a stick blender with it immersion blender sorry to uh, mix it together so I would always suggest using mm, at least eight ounces that way you can see the consistency you can decide if it's what you want um, depending on because I don't give you typically I don't give you specific ingredients especially when it comes to like butters and oils or hydrosols extracts you want to test out your formula or should I say your recipe with the ingredients that you plan to use because the consistency might be a little it's like if you're making a body cream if you use cocoa butter instead of shea butter they have different textures they have different consistencies they have different hard hardnesses so you may want to test that and see is this if I use cocoa butter is it too hard if I use shea butter is it too soft those are the things that you do need to test for yourself and that is how you can take a formula that you purchased from me and turn it into something that's still customized that's why I typically don't give you a specific ingredient unless that ingredient is imperative to the recipe um, or to you know the recipe coming out well but typically I give you a generic um, category so that you can go in and then using the information that I've given you so you have a great starting point to customize it and make it your own but I just wanted to show you how to use this um, calculator it's really simple to use they actually like I said give you the instructions at the top there but just in case you may have been confused about how to use it that's how you use it you can scroll down here and print your recipe if you would like um, and it's going to print out looking like this. And again, it will give you all of the different um, units of measure, no matter which one you choose. But just make sure that you choose the right one, such as you don't want to click ounces, but you're putting in grams. It's going to, especially especially if you put in grams instead of ounces, because as you can see, 15 ounces is 446 grams. So if I accidentally... I'm thinking in grams but I have ounces uh, selected that's 446 ounces that's way too much so just be sure that you click the correct unit of measure um, but that's it um, but that is all that it is to it you can print it out and then use it test out your formula and go from there I hope this helps if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments below thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video